In this video, we will show you how to connect Bowtie Master with Power BI and build the simple process safety dashboard. In keeping with the theme of previous videos, we will use Barrier Condition as the example. Bowtie Master has an application programming interface, or API, which is used to access your bowtie diagrams via bowtiemaster.com. This API can also be used to access external services such as Power BI or SAP. You can use these external services to retrieve information from Bowtie Master or to update your Bowtie diagrams. Examples of typical API commands include adding new users, retrieving all of the information on your barriers and their metadata, or you can update your Bowtie diagrams automatically. Details of all the commands are provided within the API documentation. To execute an API command, you will need the address of the command, in this tutorial, we will be retrieving all barrier and metadata information using the diagram nodes command. A secure access token, which can be retrieved via its own API command. Some commands require additional information. The command that we're using today, for example, requires the diagram ID, which can be retrieved from the address bar in Bowtie Master. Here is a Bowtie diagram for a typical major accident scenario. In this example, we will pull through the barrier condition metadata into Power BI. Barrier condition can either be effective, partially effective, or not effective. From the latest version of Power BI Desktop, press Get Data and select Web. Select Advanced. To complete this request, you will first require the URL, which can be found in the API documentation. You will need the number of the bowtie diagram and finally, your organization's secure access token, which we can provide. Once all of this information has been entered, press OK to connect to Bowtie Master. The data is in JSON format, and you can use Power Query to first convert it to a table, expand rows, filter the required rows, and finally extract the data types. Once we have completed sorting the data, we press Apply and Close to return to Power BI. We will begin by adding a new text box to our process safety dashboard. Next, we will add a new bar chart to show our barriers and their condition. If we add the description of barrier type onto the access, that will separate our preventative and mitigative barriers each into their own column. To filter by barrier condition, which may either be effective, partially effective, or not effective, drag the metadata option onto the legend. This gives us a clear visualization of our barrier condition in a single chart. Use the visualization formatting tool to modify the appearance of the chart. Next, we will add a table that lists all of the barriers in this bowtie diagram. Power BI automatically filters this when you click on a series in the bar chart. After a quick bit of formatting, we are now ready to publish. So there you have it, a process safety dashboard that pulls live data from Bowtie Master. The example shown here isn't very complex, but the key is how easy it is to connect Power BI to Bowtie Master. You could pull through much more information, or this all could be added to your existing dashboards that you have to understand your risks. Contact us now to find out more about the Bowtie Master API.